Yes, it's not clear. Yeah. It's not clear. It's loud or it's not clear. Can you guys it's still breaking? We can't hear you at all now. It's not even breaking. We just can't hear you at all. I think he he left the meeting to rejoin. Oh, okay. The right. Yeah. Rejoin. Okay. Mm-hmm. While we're waiting for him to join the line again, let's just maintain the um, atmosphere of prayer. There are some yeah. very specific things that um, will be happening today, even as we go into the Mount Up session and then the family altar and even the next segment after that, the healing line. So let's just maintain the atmosphere of the spirit right now and continue to pray in tongues. Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man, Manda cuts of long monocles of land in a man,
my goodness my my network shut me out so sorry about that guys listen when we mount up in the spirit what we are doing is very simple there are a few different things a few different reasons why we mount up but one of the most important ones that you should know about is we come to the place where the spirit of god can strengthen us with might by his holy spirit in our inner man oh you don't understand the bible says in ephesians 3 16 that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man listen to me your spirit functions like a car battery in america we have something called autozone you can take your car battery there to be charged they will charge it for you for free they will put it on a charger and i think an hour 90 minutes two hours you can come back and retrieve your car battery and that thing is fully charged it is it would be like you just bought you know a fairly new battery that's what it means to be strengthened with might by the holy spirit in your inner man now the issue is this you can attempt to do this at home alone but there is no um what's that word you don't have enough um, spirit transport to help you get there you see all of us combined on the altar when we begin to pray like that in sync spirit soul and body in sync and we are asking the spirit of god to strengthen us with mind by his holy spirit in our inner man we get there much faster because one would chase a thousand two chase ten thousand even the young men will utterly fall the bible says but they that wait on the lord shall renew their strength how do we renew this strength he strengthens us with might by his holy spirit in our inner man when you begin to pray listen your spirit is what fuels your soul the economy of your soul 
hangs on your spirit or your flesh if the flesh is stronger the soul will receive feedback if your spirit is stronger then it will feed your soul you would have control of your emotions you will be able to shut down anxiety depression panic attacks anything that comes at you that is making you waver you will shut it down because there's enough strength a bank of strength in your spirit that's why we mount up so that we can all be strengthened with might by his holy spirit in our inner man can you make that your prayer request as you begin to mount up in the next few seconds begin to on you begin to pray and ask god would you strengthen me with might by your holy spirit in my inner man and anointing is on the altar right now so begin to on you begin to pray and ask god strengthen me with might i need a replenishment i need to be strengthened <laughs> Manda casa blende no meno que se blende no mamba Manda que se blende no mamba para sentina 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 Manda que se blende no mamba na casa blende no coso blende no mamba Manda que se blende no mamba na casa blende no coso blende no mamba Manda casa blende no meno que se blende no mamba Manda casa blende no coso blende no mamba Manda que se blende Blend in the man, Father, strengthen us, strengthen us, strengthen us. Manda Casa, blend in the man, with my by your Holy Spirit. Manda Casa, blend in the man, blend in the man, get the blend in the man. Father, strengthen us, O God. Manda Casa, blend in the man, Manda Casa, blend in the man, get the blend in the man. Manda Casa, blend in the man, Manda Casa, blend in the man, Manda Casa. Manda <laughs> <laughs> 
Amen. Oh, the Bible says, strengthen us with might. Would you strengthen us with might by your Holy Spirit? Where in our inner man? Listen, your inner man needs to be strengthened. A few weeks ago now, somebody messaged me to talk to me. And he said, I feel like giving up on life. Everything has shut down for me. I feel like giving up on life. And I looked at him. And I remember that scripture, Proverbs 24 verse 10. The Bible says, if you faint in the day of adversity, the solution is that your strength is too small. That's the problem. And there is a solution for it. Your strength is too small. It is too small. That's why we need to be strengthened with might by the Holy Spirit in our inner man. And how we do this thing is by speaking in tongues. Then a fresh infilling begins to come into your spirit, man. An anointing. A strength. The spirit of might will begin to experience his ministry. Oh my God. If you faint in the day of adversity, the diagnosis is that your strength is too small. We're going to see that prayer point again. Strengthen us with might by your Holy Spirit in our inner man. Strengthen us with might by your Holy Spirit. Listen. You can tell if your strength has become small. It's beginning to wane up. You can tell. You start experiencing all kinds of issues in your soul. That's the first symptom. Your Bible study life will dwindle. Your prayer life will dwindle. You won't have the strength to fast. You will think about it. You want to do it, but you won't be able to go there. Because your strength has been depleted. And in this day and time, life has a way of depleting people's strength. But there is a provision in God's word that a person can mount up to a place where you are strengthened with might. I love that scripture, Ephesians 3.16. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory so this is the provision of glory 
That's why we have to mount up. It's a provision of glory. Ah, the Spirit of God is here already. That He would grant you, according to the riches of His glory, to be strengthened with might through His Spirit in the inner man. Through His Spirit in the inner man. Guys, I want you to make that your heart's desire. But the issue is that it, it, it exists in the realm of glory. The riches of His glory. You have to mount up to touch that, that realm. The realm of glory. That's where you are charged. Like how I can take my car's battery to auto zone in the US and they will charge it in an hour. It is fully charged. That is how this thing works. You have to mount up to get there. And there is spirit transport. When we all begin to pray like that, what's happened is that we can achieve a lot more faster than you alone doing it in your living room. Are you ready to pray? Strengthen us with might. Because if you faint in the day of adversity, the diagnosis is that your strength was too small. Guys, begin to unmute, begin to pray. And ask God, strengthen me with might by your Holy Spirit in my inner man. Mazatom bravali kata bravala dose. Jekepa talabis. Jokom bravali kata braval. Jede jede. Sablem dene mamba. Jokom. Manda kasa plem dene ke. Sablem dene mamba. Manda kasa plem dene mene ke. Sablem dene mamba. Manda kasa plem dene ke. Sablem dene mamba. Manda kasa plem dene mene ke. God has strengthened us with months by the Holy Spirit in a in a man in a in a man in a name of Jesus. Manda ka sablem deni mamba, deni mene ke sablem deni mamba. Manda ka sablem mene ko sablem deni mamba. Manda ka sablem deni mene ke sablem deni mamba. Manda ke sablem deni mamba na ka sablem mene ko sablem deni mamba. Manda ke sablem deni mamba na ka sablem deni Manda 
I can see the spirit already. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence. The violent ones take it by force. You know, I wish uh, Kaziah was on the altar. The other day she was telling me a story. She, she used to get a lot of attacks in her dreams. Then I told her to just pray, mount up before you go to bed. And she practiced that. She said when the witch came, she took them one by one and flung them outside the window. She, she didn't know where the strength came from. She lifted them up and flung them like a ball outside the window. Yeah. That's the operation of the spirit of man. Another woman told me that normally she receives this incubus, succubus spirits once in a while that come and sleep with her in her dreams. But when this one came the last time, she strangled it. She strangled it. And she was watching it and, she, and it was being strangled. And she didn't know where the strength came from. You can be strengthened with might by the Holy Spirit in your inner man. When the Bible says that the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent one take it by force, you need the operation of the spirit of might. I wish we could get scriptures to show that pattern. Ephesians 3.16 Or you can put it on the chat. You can put it on the chat. Out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner man. That's another kind of NIV. Listen, what you see happen in the life of Samson is the operation of the spirit of mind. Yeah, that's the spirit of mind. In this day and time, we don't necessarily see the spirit of might on a person to do physical stuff. It's now in the spirit. And you can get there whereby you, that spirit of might, it fraternizes with you. It's a dimension in the Holy Ghost. And there is so much strength in your inner man to subdue issues in life. If you faint in the day of adversity, I repeat, your strength is too small. But from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence. The violent ones, they need the operation of the spirit of might so they can mount up and take it by force. 
Listen to me, my friends. The issues happening in your family, you need the operation of the spirit of mind. There you do. You want to legislate on behalf of your siblings and you don't have the operation of the spirit of might. You don't know what it means to be strengthened with might in your inner mind. The other day I had to fight a battle for someone, my family. There were 12 witches, 12 of them, 12 of them, and they all fled. 12 because they can't stand the power of God the reason why you are still battling with one witch one by one it will throw one punch you will throw one punch then you will sit down it will sit down then you will get more strength again and you throw another punch it's because you don't understand that on you to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man and when you receive that infilling of strength, what you do, you begin to mount up to take that kingdom by force. That's the point. You stayed on the ground far too long. You need to mount up. You need to mount up. It is from the place, the vantage point in the spirit that we begin to arbitrate cases in our families. Do you understand me? begin to arbitrate. You pronounce judgments. Would you strengthen us with might by your Holy Spirit in our inner man? I want you to focus on that scripture that says from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent ones take it by force. What have you been asking God for? That there's been a delay in your life. You've not seen it come into fruition. There is enough spirit transport on the altar today. Through the strength of everybody here, you can mount up. Yes, it's a together thing. You mount up and then you take that thing by force. But you have to lay hold on it in the spirit. Then you pull it down to earth. The next six minutes on interrupted tones, all you need to do is keep thinking of that scripture. I want to take it by force. I want to take it by force. And then the spirit of might will enable you. You will experience spirit transport. Can we begin to unmute and begin to pray that prayer point and ask God, I want to take it by force. I want to take it by force. I want to take it by force. Shekem bla bla dam bla bla di shekem bla de zatam bla. My family's deliverance. I take it by force. My shete kali patam bla bla. Shekem bla bla dam 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 bla bla. Sekarang <laughs> 
I see prison doors opening. Listen, some of you, the reason is because you've not taken it by force. You've, you've, oh God. You've not taken it by force. That deliverance, that healing, that breakthrough, that next level. There is a place for force. When the Bible says from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent ones take it by force. What it is talking about is that the violent ones take it by the operation of the spirit of might. That's why you need to be strengthened with might by your Holy Spirit in your inner man. You will take it by force. There are three prison doors open. Three prison doors. And I see a crown in the spirit. Somebody's promotion is coming as well. It's a crown of promotion. The Bible says you have crowned man with glory and honor. This one is a crown of honor. It's a promotion. I see you in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I ask, oh God, that you will fill every woman on this altar with the spirit of might, the operation of the spirit of might. Let it not be far from them. Because in this day and time, what we are seeing is women have become the ones that are standing their ground in the families. It's not the men, it's the women. And so I ask, oh God, that you will release the operation of the spirit of might on these women. Let them be strengthened with might by your Holy Spirit in their inner man. So they can mount up with wings as eagles and lay hold, lay hold of that kingdom and take it by force. They will take it by the operation of the spirit of man. Let deliverance be wrought before the end of this month. No less than 10 testimonies, oh God, I decree it from Zion. Let it be possible because of the operation of the spirit of man. The same spirit that walked in Samson, put it in this woman, oh God, those that will become arbitrators in their families to take things by force. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Over to you, Amy. Amen. Thank you very much, um, Damala. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the family altar. Thank you for leading us into the Mount Up, and thank you for all of the uh, prayer leaders who have um, held this altar um, since we started, even up until now. The Lord is about to do a definite thing in our midst this morning, and I want us to be very sensitive in the spirit um, as that happens. Um, <clears throat> as you all know, this is the Mount Up and family altar segment and it's a session for the kings our women we open it up to you know the men as well if they want to join us but primarily this session you know is for women of the kings our um our group and the intention is for us to build strength and to raise prayers for families this morning we're going to be taking a very we'd say unique set of prayers so it may be that the men, I don't know, <laughs> can't find their place in the prayers this morning, or it may be that they may want to stand in for, um, uh, for their wives or, you know, sisters or whoever, I don't know. But this morning, the Lord showed me before we came on the altar that this morning is going to be a healing meeting. That's what the Lord showed me um, this morning. And I sat before the Lord to understand what kind of healing meeting it was going to be and um, more details were added. And the Lord showed me something. He reminded me of something that he actually had shown me right around the end of uh, January, but I, I already knew we were not gonna have um, time to address that in, um, in the February prayers. And that's what we're gonna be doing this morning. So if you are here and you have any women in your family um, going through one ailment or another, I encourage you to send them the link. This is going to be streaming live. 
is going to be streaming on YouTube as well in a moment. So I encourage you to please send the link to them on YouTube or they can join the team's link, whichever one works for them. But please grab the link and put it on your status, put it everywhere. Honestly, this segment will likely be short. And um, I know that there is a healing and intercession line coming right after this, but this is not going to be a general healing segment. It's going to be very specific. So that healing line after this is going to still hold. Just want to mention that. But there are some things that we're going to pray about in the uh, uh, family on the family altar this morning. So please, um, I encourage you to grab the uh, the link. I'm going to have it um, go live in a second. Grab the link from YouTube. Send it to friends. Send it to family. Send it to women in your life who um, can use the healing hand of God because that's what's going to be happening this morning um, on the altar. So. Uh, okay good we are now live on youtube so if you can grab that link if you can grab that link let me know when someone is on youtube we're going to get into prayers please wherever you are just maintain the temple of the spirit let's maintain the temple of the spirit don't get distracted this is not the time to step away to go get a snack this is not the time to step away to go do something this is a time to gather all that strength that you've built in the last, you know, uh, 45 minutes and possibly even more if you've been on the line, uh, you know, for most of the marathon, this is the time to to to, to gather that strength and put it um, into the prayers we're going to be taking this morning. So if anyone is live on YouTube and you can hear me fine, you can see me fine. No, well, you, you're not going to be able to see me, but at least you can hear me fine. Let me know. I want to make sure that we're live before we start the prayers. So can someone please quickly confirm on the King's Arrow page that you can hear me properly um, on the stream. Someone please confirm that. And while that's happening, um, we're going to be taking some prayers and we're going to start from, um, we're going to go from Second Kings chapter 5. I just need one person to confirm that YouTube is working. Thank you so much, uh, Suzanne. God bless you. Second Kings chapter five. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this session. Oh Lord, we bless you. We magnify you. We exalt your holy name. For this is the time that you have set for your people. And Lord, I step aside and I yield this session over to you. I ask that you do exactly that which you intended to do. I ask that you do your good pleasure even in the lives of your people this morning. To the praise and glory of your name amen second kings chapter five we're going to read a few verses and then we're going to take prayers uh like i said we're not going to spend too much time i believe on these prayers but they are going to be very specific and once we're done with them the testimonies are going to start coming through now naaman captain of the host of the king of syria was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the lord had given deliverance unto syria he was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And I want to pause there because obviously we're not praying this morning against leprosy, thank God. But we're going to be taking some prayers. Because when I think about the way a woman's life runs, many times it happens where there would be those accolades and it can almost follow this pattern oh a great this a great that by her hand this has happened this has happened but she is dealing with xyz and so this morning we're going to be praying specifically against gynecological issues disorders and all such so we're going to be making those prayers this morning but i want to just read some scriptures um to you before we go into prayers and i want you to trust and have your hearts open that this morning, as we stand on this altar and make these prayers about those issues, that they are indeed right now going to shift and there's going to be healing. So please grab the link again, send them to friends and family. You know the people who are close to you. Women, we tend to know what's, you know, each other, um, what we're dealing with when it comes to this kind of issues. Whether it's, you know, the irregular bleeding, whether it's fibroids, whether it's ovarian cysts, whatever the condition may be, we're going to be praying specifically against um, gynecological issues. And there's a portion I'll get and I'll mention them. And if you have any that don't happen to be on this list, you can put it in the chat. 
wherever you are, whether on YouTube or Teams, and we'll pray. I don't need for anybody to self-identify. I'm going to be praying um, about these conditions. And if there are any that I mention, um, or rather that I don't mention when I go through the list, feel free to put it in the chat if that you know, concerns you and it wasn't mentioned. But so this is the description of Naaman. Okay, honorable because the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria um, uh, through him. It said he was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. So it comes to an end today, just the way it happened for Naaman, where you, you know, all around, everything else is going good, but somehow you're struggling with this issue in your health, whether it's endometriosis, they call it, whether it's PCOS, they call it, whether it's fibroids. I know that there are so many women who complain about fibroids to the doctor and the doctors just make it seem like, well, deal with it. Like, it, you know, I mean, everybody else is dealing with it. So you figure out a way to deal with it. And this is the way that Naaman was. Okay. He was a leper, but somehow he was still able to find a way to do what he had to do because it was like, well, there's no solution. So just deal with this. There's no, there's no fix for it. There's no, there's no uh, cure. There's no treatment for it. So just deal with it. Everybody else is dealing with it. So just deal with it. And we're going to put an end to that this morning. It said, And the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Will God my Lord were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. And one went in and told his Lord, um, saying, Thus and thus saith the maid that is of the land of Israel. Now, I want to pause there because I don't want us to focus too much on those uh, other sections. There's a portion that we're going to get to because this morning we're all going to pray. We are all going to be praying. And we're going to be praying with the understanding of what is supposed to happen on, or happen on the altar this morning. And the Bible says, And it was so when Elisha, the man of God, heard, um, had heard that the king of Israel... So now let me explain that. Um, Naaman had misunderstood. He went, he sent a message to the king of Israel, and the king of Israel was upset because he thought Naaman was, or yeah, he thought Naaman's boss was trying to look for trouble. He thought that was just mockery. He said, Why would you send someone to me with leprosy? How do you think I'm going to recover him? And when Elisha heard, he, you know, he was confused. He said, Why is why is the you know king upset? Like, why are you tearing your clothes? Okay. Like there is a definite solution for this thing. There is, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, yeah, there's a cure for this thing where I come from. So in your world, this thing doesn't make sense. In your world, there's nothing to do to it. Just deal with it. Move on with your life with it. But where I come from, that is uh, Elisha. There is a cure for it. And the Bible records in uh, verse 10, it says, And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. And that's what we're doing this morning. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Many times the reason why we miss the move of God or we miss what God is doing is because when it happens, it's too simple. When it happens, it's too simple. You would prefer something more elaborate. You would prefer something that is a little deeper, if you will. It's what will help you feel like, yes, indeed, this thing is going to get taken care of. But I tell you this morning, it's going to happen by the hand of God and it's going to be this simple thing. So this morning, we're going to be praying. And we're going to be praying specifically about these issues, gynecological issues. There's a long list of them, and many of us are aware of the different ones that we face. And I want you to understand that this morning, the power of God is present on the altar. The power of God is present on the altar to address this. So in a couple of seconds, I want us to open our mouths and I want us to begin to pray. Now, remember, when we gather like this and we make prayers, it's not going to be every time that the prayers affect you. But that's not why we come, so that each person can have their own issue addressed. It's so that we can address the issues concerning everyone here. There was a time I explained what we do when we come here. And I said the picture I had had in the spirit was like women who were holding onto a rope, like a tug of war. And the collective strength that we wield when we gather like that and pull that rope is what ensures that every last one of us gets pulled into victory. And that's what we're going to be doing this morning. So I want us to open our mouth and allow the rivers of water, because that's what the Bible lets us know. It says, out of our bellies shall flow rivers of living water. We may not be near a physical pole, um, may not be near a physical river, Jordan. But I want us to understand that out of our bellies, out of our bellies this morning, is where the healing stream is going to flow from. So when we say we're praying, I want us all to 
pray and as much as we can unmute and let us pray and pray in the spirit because this morning everyone who dips in this water everyone who dips in this river just like Naaman is going to walk away from here healed cleansed Naaman dipped seven times we are going to stay on this line and we're going to stretch it until we come to the end of the segment and I want you to understand that everyone who dips in this water is going to receive their healing from all of such conditions even in, in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouths and begin to pray. Yes, 
in Jesus name we pray amen we're still praying we're still we're still praying I want us to read scripture from John chapter 5 and from um verse 2 it says now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus it says now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches it says in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And that's what is happening this morning. The good thing is we're not in the situation that that man was. The Bible says a certain man was there which had had, had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. And when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, will thou be made whole? And that is the question this morning. We can see that the man started to ask, answer and give things, give answers that had nothing to do with what Jesus just asked him. The question was simple, will thou be made whole? And the man begins to say, um, you know, uh, sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into, into, into the pool. But while I'm coming, another step is down before me. You see, the question is simple. It's as simple as that. Will thou be made whole? And if the answer is yes this morning, understand that that pool that is stirred this morning by the Spirit of God for the specific purpose of healing is available for everyone. This is no longer a situation of one person getting in there first. We have spent the first 45 minutes of our segment mounting up. So each one of us is already ascended to that place where we can interact with that staring with that water of healing so this is not a time that is reserved for one person and it's like if one person gets their healing then that's great no this is a time where everyone who's making these prayers and everyone who makes these prayers even after the meeting this morning will receive their healing because the waters have been stared and everyone who is seeking their healing will step in and get their healing this morning it's not going to be a situation of only one person so we're going to keep we're going to pray one more time and i'm going to make the declarations um so that we can end the session and hand it over this is what is going on this morning and i always tell you try to find a way to put your heart exactly where what god is where, where you know god is 
try to find a way to place your heart where God is and what he's doing. Now, it was at the end of January that I had seen this, but I completely forgot. We had a different focus at the beginning of February, so I truly, truly forgot. But I had seen a, a, a number of ladies who were struggling with these kinds of issues, who were struggling with, you know, this kind of gynecological issues. And um, towards the end of, of it, I saw where there was this gush of water. This, I don't know where it came from, but a gush of very pure, very clean water. At the time when I saw it, that's what I, I just thought it was just random water. But this gush of water came and washed the ladies. And I, I, I kept it aside and I just didn't remember it until now. But as I laid down, because I had been up, you know, a little while earlier, and then I went to just take a short nap before this. And um, I was getting ready for the session. And typically, I know what God wants us to do every time we come here on Thursday or when we come here at the beginning of, of the month. And so I was just asking God, I said, what are we doing? And honestly, since I started, nothing definite had come. So I said, what is the meaning of this? I said, well, it's God that has the session. So he knows what it is that he will do with the session. And as I laid down to sleep, I heard very clearly, it says, God will, it said, there will be healing this morning. It said, there will be healing this morning. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us just come off mute because that anointing, that healing anointing just got active right now. Let us come off mute and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Whatever those conditions are, gynecological in, 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 in nature, begin to pray. Thank 
I'm just going to pray about these conditions specifically. If we can mute, if we can mute so that I can pray about the conditions specifically. Um, the Bible says in Job chapter 38 and verse 11, it says, Hitherto shall thou come, but no further. Hitherto shall thou come, but no further. That was the instruction of the Lord to the waves. That was the instruction of the Lord to, 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 to the waters. So this is this is the declaration to every condition it is that everyone here is, is standing um, uh, in, in prayers for. It has come this far, but no more. It has come this far to February 15th of 2024, but no more. And so we're going to pray. I'm going to make the uh, declarations over those conditions. And like I said, if I mention the entire list, and the one that impacts you or somebody who you're standing in the gap for is not in this list. Please mention it. I'm not a doctor, so I'm limited. Okay. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for this moment that you set up even because of this. I thank you, Father, because of your healing power that is active on the altar this morning. I thank you, Father, for that healing stream that is flowing everywhere where everyone who is participating in these prayers um, is located. Father, I thank you because even as they step into the water, even as they dip in the water, even as they wash in the water this morning, I thank you, Father, because those these conditions are a thing of the past in the name of Jesus. Lord, even as you showed me, I ask for this healing river, I ask for this healing stream to flow and wash everyone that is impacted by these situations, even in the name of Jesus, whether it be painful, heavy or irregular, uh, uh, cycles, whether it be endometriosis, whether it be PCOS, whether it be fibroids, whether it be pelvic disorders, whether it be infections of the urinary tract, whether it's cancers of the female reproductive system, whether it's abnormal uh, 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 uterus, abnormal pregnancies, infertility, ovarian cysts, repeated miscarriages, premature menopause, uterine prolapse, hormonal imbalances. Father, every one of these conditions conditions that I have mentioned today, let the healing power of God be active right now to wash them out of the life of your people, to wash them out of the life of your people, to wash them out of the life of your people, even right now in the name of Jesus. Everyone standing here dealing with any one of these situations, Father, I decree that today is the last day. Today is the expiration of all such conditions in the name of Jesus. Irregular bleeding, heavy bleeding, endometriosis, PCOS, fibroids, pelvic issues, infections of the urinary tract, cancer says abnormal uh, uh, pregnancies, infertility, ovarian cysts, miscarriages, premature menopause, uterine prolapse, hormonal imbalances. Father, let there be an end to them even from today right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to their bodies and I command their bodies to begin a function even as the Lord ordered it in the name of Jesus. Every activity of these conditions, I call it to an end and everything that they have done in the body hitherto, let there be a repair. Let there be a repair. Let there be a repair in the name of Jesus. I speak to those who are dealing with hormonal issues. I speak to those hormones to come back into a place of balance. I speak to them to come back to a place of balance. I speak to every growth in the body. I command those growths to come out even right now. I command those growths to melt and come out of their bodies even right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to every irregularity in the cycles. I speak to it right now and I command you to come back into alignment in the name of Jesus. Every Everyone dealing with any irregularities, let it come back into alignment in the name of Jesus anyone who's dealing with any premature menopausal symptoms father i command those symptoms to cease right now in the name of jesus i command everyone who's struggling with infertility for any reason of any kind father let it be corrected even right now in the name of jesus i put an end to every situation of miscarriages in the name of jesus every irregularity in the pelvic region in the uterus let it come back to normal even in the name of jesus father we thank you for that which you have done thank you father because of the flow of testimonies that we will receive from these prayers that we've made this morning even as you have decided that this is the moment this is the time this is the moment for each one of us who's dealing with 
any one of these issues to receive our deliverance father let it be even according to your word in jesus name i speak to those who have any kind of symptoms that cause their time of the month to be a massive discomfort in their life or up to the point that it stops them from doing what they should do carrying out their regular functions i speak to their bodies right now i command those bodies to come back into alignment in jesus name those who experience intense pains those who deal with migraines those who deal with all kinds of situations in their body whenever it's that thank you jesus whenever it's that time of the month i speak to every such abnormalities i command them to normalize even right now in the name of jesus anyone here who has that situation where the time of the month is a burden for you why because you deal with every one kind of pain or another one kind of discomfort to another i command it to come to an end even right now in the name of jesus thank you father because not a single one who has dipped in this pool that has been stared by the spirit of god will go back the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because these healings are sure and these testimonies are sealed and permanent in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I want us to just come off mute for a minute and just begin to pray and give God thanks for the healings that have been accomplished on the altar this morning. I want us to just open our mouth and begin to thank God because it is done. It is done. It is done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Many of us are aware of our sister who happened to join the meeting like this. Um, it was, I forget which month it was last year, just unsuspecting. And um, the word of the Lord came, the word of the Lord came that he was addressing that situation where, uh, you know, a gynecological issue had disrupted her life so much that it was a massive discomfort. The word of the Lord came for her that day. As the Bible says, it says he sent his word and he healed their diseases and delivered them. The word of the Lord came that day. She received the word even as it pertained to her. And the month after that, she came back with her testimony of how that situation had been healed how that situation had been addressed the heavy bleeding arrested the the the, the swellings the fibroids shrunken so i want everyone who's present on the line today and standing in um making these prayers for themselves it doesn't have to be that this is what i was trying to point at at the beginning talking about neyman's credentials how mighty of a man he was but he was dealing with this thing and that's how many of us are it, it doesn't have to be to where you can't function before you realize that something is wrong he was still functioning the way that his office wanted him to but something was wrong with him it doesn't have to be that way even if it's as simple as you having a lot of discomfort every month migraines that won't let you you know be able to do your work properly you know these pains that you have to these cramps and all of that you don't have to be like, okay well at least everything is fine no it's not until they 
give a diagnosis and say, okay, there's fibro that you know that there's a problem. That by itself is already a problem. So I want us to realize that this morning, all of these things, from the ones we call minor to the ones that we call major, the Lord is addressing them this morning. And everyone who stayed up here for those prayers will testify will testify in the name of Jesus. There will be reports of, 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 of cysts, of growths that just disappeared. There will be reports of, of conditions that, you know, were being treated that they can't find them anymore. There will be reports of people whose hormones have gone out of whack. At least for those of us who have maybe even given birth, we know how very common this thing is. Sometimes it seems like, oh, it's just maybe in the postpartum window. But even beyond that, those hormones just, I don't know, they just find another program to be running with. But I'm telling you that right now, everything is coming back to factory setting the way that the maker created it to function in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, everyone. God bless you. And um, this is now the end of the uh, Mount Up and Family Altar. So for those who logged in specifically for the uh, for the for that session, uh, feel free to log off. Um, there's going to be other programs happening.